click where once. Wait for new data. Let's jump into voice flow again. This is the AI chatbot. Enter your name. Okay. And here, say perfect. It's already booked. Check your email. In make the account, everything is perfect. Look at this. I'm gonna see my database. And in my database, it was saved. And I have here this for example. Okay, and here, this is for me. Hi Max, you have a new meeting. The name is this, the Sam Smith email Monday 3 p.m. Hi everyone, today we we're going to be talking about how to create an AI chatbot and automatically book appointments. Here we have the flowchart. Let me explain you how it works. We're going to use a webhook. Then we're going to save this information in our database. In this case, I'm using a Google Sheet. And finally, we're going to send this information by email. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to create from scratch. Create a new scenario here. And the first module that I'm going to use here is the webhook. And choose custom webhook. And here, click add. And I'm going to name this. Bot webhook. Click save. And I'm gonna copy this link and then I'm gonna go and in this case I'm gonna use this voice flow I'm gonna use this platform here you can create chatbots using the AI and you can start for free so create your account it takes a few minutes and then when you are here in your workspace, go here and create a new agent. You're gonna type here a name. In this case, I'm gonna type and say bot. Click get started. And this part, you can add here your web page or any other thing that you want. But in this case, I'm gonna skip this part. The next thing here is go here in workflows and you need to choose this first option home and here delete everything this part because I'm not interested delete Okay, when you got it, here we're gonna start to create. The first thing that I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna go here and basically here we have used these options when the chatbot will talk and when the chatbot will listen. The first case with a message, okay. I'm gonna choose this first module here and in this part and here we're gonna use and type something like hello or hi you can use modules in this part too okay and say enter your name is the first thing now the next thing that we're gonna do here is that the chatbot need to listen the answer so that's the reason that we're gonna choose capture and here we're gonna choose this option 
entire user apply. Okay, and in this case, I'm gonna create a new uh, a new parameter here, and this is the name. Okay, create new, and then we're gonna follow the same logic here. Again, a message in this part. Okay. And in here, we're gonna type the next step. And in this case, we need the email. Enter your email. And again, we need to choose in this case, Again, the option to listen and capture. The same thing. When you understand this platform, it's easy. The thing that you can do here. Okay, well, again, create a new variable. And in this part, type email. Create. And then click again here and i'm gonna add a new message here i'm gonna type something like what day and time do you want the meeting okay perfect and here, again, following the same logic, in this part, when I capture this message, create a new user, reply here, and I'm gonna create a new one here, new variable, the day, create, okay? Everything in here is the same case. Well, and here, the last module that I'm gonna add here, when I type message, and here type something like, perfect. Use emojis, again. It's, Book it. Check your email. That's all. And I'm gonna add a new block here. I'm gonna use this option the API. This is API from make the calm. Okay. So, in here, I'm gonna copy and paste this link. Click here, copy address, and go again to voice flow. And here, paste. But in this case, we don't need to use get. We're gonna use post, okay? The difference between post and get is that you're gonna use post when you're gonna send this information. But if you decide to retrieve some information, in this case, use get. But for this example, you're gonna choose post, okay? Well, and here, embody, click here this part, and here when I use this dynamic parameter that we created in this flow, okay? So go here, and the first, it's the name. And in this part, use curly braces. The first is the name. I have this. Perfect. I'm gonna add a new. This is email. The same case, email. Okay, and 
the third parameter here is day okay it's all perfect everything is done I'm not save all this information but in this case I'm gonna make some changes here and I'm gonna move this module here and this another this with the last message okay now I'm gonna connect all these modules here this first is here continue with the logic all right everything is done perfect well now let's jump into metacon and here when I connect this module okay this is looking for this information so go here and in this part three two one well this is a complete logic for our case but now I'm gonna send these parameters to my webhook in order to it will be recognized and will work in the same way here click OK OK and then we're gonna add a new modules here the first thing it's add a new row in this case we're gonna create a new template here go create a new one the name will be booking and I'm gonna complete this fields name email and day or date okay well when you got it go again and here I'm gonna look for this booking okay shit the one and I'm gonna complete this fails but first of all I need to get these parameters from the webhook that is the reason that is important that first of all I'm gonna make a test here so I'm gonna go with this module and for this case for this test that I'm gonna make here this is the flowchart for the chatbot, okay? I'm gonna delete. And for this first test, I'm gonna tap this. Well, go in here. And for this case, click here. And run once. It is waiting for this. So go here and send. I'm gonna type this name, for example, name one, email, build account, and enter day one. Okay, perfect. Go in here, and this is it get it its parameters it's done and I have here these parameters name one mail and day one everything is done well here we go I get these parameters name with name email and the date of the date okay click okay 
and here we're gonna add a router here. This router here we're gonna send emails. First of all, I'm not send this information to this email. The subject will be new meeting and here in the content I'm gonna choose this plain text and here we're gonna some type something like hi and use a name or as by so will gun that you on the following day I'm not choose this and regards okay Perfect. And in this part, this is the message for this new lead. Okay, it's all. Click OK. And in this case, I'm gonna clone this new module here, the lead. And here, I'm gonna send this for my email. So you type your email here. I'm gonna use in this case and the subject will be the same and here I'm gonna change something this is not this part hey Max you had a new meeting Okay. And complete the name, the email, the date. Okay. Perfect. Well, Click OK. And here it's important for the test. I'm going to choose my this, another account that I have. Everything will be the same. But for this example, I'm going to choose my Gmail account for this test. In both cases, OK. Well, all right. Click Save. And here everything is ready. Now let's jump again into voice flow. And in this part, the text is ready too. And I'm gonna connect again. This module is here. And here, go. In this part. Okay, well, we got everything. So, now we're gonna make a final test in this part. So, click where once, wait for new data, and it's waiting for the new data. Let's jump into voice flow again, and here, click start. Well, here you have, this is the AI chatbot, enter your name, I'm gonna type here, Click and here enter your email. But in this case, I'm gonna use my own email for this test. Okay. Okay.
okay. And the child will say, what day and time do you want to that meeting? And here, type Monday, I don't know, at 3 p.m. Okay. And here, say, perfect, it's already booked. Check your email. Okay. I'm gonna go here. First of all, I'm gonna look for here and in make the account, everything is perfect. Look at this. So now I'm gonna see my database. And in my database, it was saved. This is the name, this is the new mail. And here is the day, Monday, 3 p.m. So I'm gonna go and open my Gmail. Go here, and I have here this for example. Okay, in this case, this I'm gonna use my own email for this example. But this, this is the message that we receive. In this case, the new lead or advisor will contact you on the following day, more than 3 p.m. Regards. Okay, and here, this is for me. Hi Max, you have a new meeting. The name is this: the Sam Smith email Monday, 3 p.m. Okay, well, everything's done. Remember, here, we're gonna send this information from this chatbot. Okay, you can use this chatbot in your website, in your social medias, you know. This is the first module, and this will send this information, you will save in your database, and then, and it will send an email in this case, okay, an email for you, an email for you, lead or new client that you have maybe. Keep in mind that you have a bunch of tools here. You can add new modules, you can use AI directly here. You can maybe use, you can send you this information in your calendar. After all, you have different options here, okay. So I think that's all for now. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, feel free to leave in the comments and stay tuned for more. See you in the next video.